Hi there, I'm Sophie Eleanor. Today we're going to make a piece of lettering that is full of texture and energy using an existing typeface as a base. We'll start with a run-of-the-mill text box and then open up the font menu. The Find More button gives us a sneaky little preview of the massive Adobe Fonts library. The even more nifty feature here is the filter, which lets you search for specific characteristics. For this design, I'm looking for a heavyweight slab. I chose Brie Serif, and to activate that font, just hit the little cloud icon. After converting the text to outlines and tightening up the spacing, my next focus is the overall composition. I want this design to feel lively, so I'm going to give it a really bouncy baseline and rotate each letter in different directions. Once I've got a rough layout, I'll examine each individual character, looking for adjustments I can make, like widening or lengthening, to better tessellate them together. It's a bit like putting together a puzzle, except you can change the shapes of each piece. I'm not terribly concerned with symmetry, but optical balance is hugely important in lettering. That includes the weight of each character, the negative space between them, and the broader layout on the page. The next layer of detail I want to add in here is an inline effect. I'm using the pen tool to quickly add a thin line down the center of each stroke. I don't need to be too precious or precise here. I'm going to use the inline drawings to break each letter up into smaller pieces. I'll expand those lines I just drew into outlines and then use the pathfinder tool to divide it. Now I'm just left with fragments of my letters. This next bit is time consuming, but also quite therapeutic if you have a nice cuppa and some good tunes to listen to. Using the pencil tool, I'm drawing directly over the top of each shape. I'm deliberately being quite wobbly with it because I want to roughen what is currently a very clean, straight edge. I love this process for a few reasons. You have a lot of control. It's super forgiving. If you accidentally stuff up, you can just draw straight back over the top. And the end result always feels really handmade. Now we're done with texture, we can get to the best bit, adding color. I have a vague idea where I want this design to go. I know I want a dark background so the lettering can be multicolored. Somewhat at random, I'm picking a few sections at a time to recolor using the default swatches. All I'm aiming for here is a good even mix of warm and cool tones. Once I've got that, I can refine the palette using my favorite feature in the entirety of Illustrator, the Recolor Artwork tool. You can play with the hue, saturation, and amount of black in any color and preview how that'll look on your design, color by color or all at once. Now those colors are really singing, I'll make a few more adjustments and because I simply cannot help myself, I'm adding some sparkle with a few stars around the edges of the design. We've gone from a pretty straight and sensible typeface to a piece of lettering with bucket loads of personality. Thanks for watching and happy lettering.